What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we got a great video for you. We got Dr. Disrespect back in the house. He's back in action, ladies and gentlemen. You already know what happened. He posted this here image. But first, let's roll that intro. So what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're going to be talking about Dr. Disrespect, the featured post with the chess and checkers. Uh, what it means, why he's got to post this, the allegations brought forth onto him that he self-admitted to, as well as everything else going around the community. Now, Dr. Disrespect done to here uh, posted this, I believe, on Twitter, which, which is crazy to me. Uh, it's out of my hands. I just keep thinking, keep thinking of this, but it's literally just a post of him with chess pieces and checkers being on the. And then uh, the, my favorite response to this is this tweet is like, is this you playing with a minor? And he goes, good one, she slasher. The internet will never forget your real threat. Depression what, will never fix your real threat. That's kind of crazy that he would even think he has room to talk after admitting that he was talking to a minor. Uh, a flagrant crime, if you will. A, a crime that is an absolute no-no here in the commentary community and pretty much a no-no everywhere else in the world uh on the internet that is uh some weird stuff happens in other countries i can't really control that you know what i'm saying you know how it is you know how it is uh and we just had the guy with case and go check that video out if you guys haven't already but let's get right into this all right dr disrespect's recent post featuring chess and checkers is likely a play on the common saying this is chess not checkers this phrase is often used to suggest that a situation requires complex strategic thinking rather than a simple one a simple or straightforward action. So you know what I'm saying? Chess is known for its depth and... and <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually doing this definition. Chess is known for its depth and complexity, requiring players to think several moves ahead and consider a wide range of possibilities, whereas checkers is generally seen as a less complex and more direct offensive game. In the context of gaming or streaming, Dr. Disrespect might be implying that his strategies or decisions are carefully planned and require a high level of skill and thought akin to playing chess. Uh, which is insane to me because uh, bro got caught talking to a minor. There's nothing chess movie complex about that, bro. You straight up just said, yeah, I was talking to a minor. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get out of here. Was any law broken? Maybe not. Maybe. We don't know. We haven't seen the logs. We haven't seen the logs. But all you guys like Rob Lislow, Slasher, all you motherfuckers that knew about this and didn't want to say anything, fuck you. You can't, you can't win. You're not winning this one. If you knew, you can't win this. It's not, you, you can't keep your crown. I'm so tired of Slasher. He's such a hack. Fuck that guy. I'm so pissed off at about, about him. Oh, I know what it is. It's so offensive. It's so crazy. Oh, I knew, I knew this the whole time. No, you didn't. No, the fuck you didn't. Everything you do as a journalist is wrong. You're, you're horrible. You're a horrible representation of our community. You're a horrible representation of journalists in that community. You're just horrible all around. Horrible middleman. Get him the fuck out of here. We don't know anything. We can't trust him. Uh, not credential. Who, who are you talking to? What are your sources that you knew this? He will never reveal them. So I get the fuck out of here. You made that shit up because he doesn't have any sources. Moving forward, that was just a, a side thing. Dr. Disrespect still talks to kids, fucking weirdo. Dr. Disrespect, whose real name is Guy Bean, has been at the center of controversy through allegations that have recently surfaced about inappropriate messaging with a minor, which allegedly led to his permanent ban from Twitch in 2020. Which is crazy, we just found out about that. According to former Twitch employee Cody Connors, Dr. Disrespect was banned for engaging in inappropriate conversations with a minor using Twitch's messaging platform, and there was claims that he attempted to meet the minor at a Twitch event. In response, Dr. Disrespect admitted to having inappropriate conversations, but denied any illegal action, stating that no explicit pictures were shared and that it was resolved in a civil settlement with Twitch. He acknowledged that the conversations sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but insisted that there were no criminal charges against him. That's cool. Uh, you still admitted that they have it. That's crazy. The fallout from these allegations has been significant. His YouTube channel ended up getting demonetized, and several sponsors and partners, uh, including Turtle Beach and the gaming studio he co-founded, have cut ties with him as well. Despite the backlash, though, Dr. Disrespect has stated that he is not planning to leave the streaming world and will eventually return after taking a break. And then we got that post of the chess and checkers thing, and he came back and all this other bullshit. Bro, it's crazy. It's great. Let me know what you guys think about this situation down below. Do you think he's going to try and big brain operate this fucking child... Predator type, what, what? I don't even know what to call this. Bro was talking to minors. Sometimes leaning in a little sexual man. So what does that mean? Sometimes leaning uh, to be inappropriate. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? That's crazy to me that he would even say that. Guys, I love you. Be good. Be kind. Be safe to each other. Stop talking to kids online. It's not good. Don't do it. That's bad.